After focusing on reviews from a city that claims to be the world's most livable, as previously ranked by The Economist, it's time to teach Melbourne some humility, and today we're off to somewhere else. A city that I wouldn't describe as being particularly humble, but we're there to jump on board a boat. One of Australia's most iconic transport journeys, the Manly Ferry Service, has been defined by its vessels for decades. The journey between Circular Quay and Manly has been operated by steam-powered vessels, revered yet impractically expensive and temperamental hydrofoils, and of course, the freshwater class ferries. I checked one of those out a little while back, but today I want to look at the latest vessels to run this iconic route, the Emerald Class. There are nine Emerald Class ferries operating across the Sydney Ferry Network from two separate production runs. The first six were built by Incat and Hobart, and the second production run consisted of a further three vessels delivered by Jianlong Shipbuilding Company. Today's journey is filmed on board Fairlight and Balmoral, both of which are from the second order, featuring wave-piercing hulls that make them more resistant to the large swells that can occur around the Sydney heads. They can be easily identified by the handles on the front, designed to add extra hull strength. Fortunately, today's journey was on nice and smooth water, but testing has cleared these vessels to operate in swells of up to 4.5 metres. In conditions that rough though, I'd rather take the train and bus across the harbour, and that opinion applies to both the Emerald and the Freshwater class ferries. I've been on 110,000 tonne displacement cruise ships, with stabilisers in 4-5 to five metre swells, and even on a vessel 100 times the displacement of a Freshwater class ferry, travel was far from smooth. Regardless, there are still a couple of freshwaters out and about which help to deal with peak tourism periods, weekend traffic increases and particularly rough weather. Naturally, a route as iconic as the Circular Quay to Manly Ferry is beyond the influence of pure commuterdom and the fresh waters alone attract visitors and maintain an important place in many commuters' hearts. If you haven't seen it yet, I have already had a quick look at the freshwater class ferries, and you can go and check that one out up there. And if you're enjoying today's review, make sure to press that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, ring the bell so you don't miss your stop. And sure, the freshwater ferries are very iconic, but 40 years of technological improvements mean that newer vessels don't drink fuel like there's no tomorrow, and despite what US pickup truck owners might think, blowing smoke isn't cool anymore. A move to a more efficient vehicle to operate is a good thing, and while cleaner engines and better fuel efficiency are attractive to environmentalists and bean counters, there's also a cherry on top for commuters the Emerald class ferries are significantly faster than the older freshwaters, with a maximum speed of 26 knots, some 8 knots faster than the larger, older monohull vessels. Each Emerald class ferry is powered by a pair of Yanmar 6AYE-M GT engines, each with around 1,000 horsepower from 6 cylinders and 20 litres of displacement. So let's see how this translates into travelling through the harbour.
In summary, it translates quite well. Engine noise is relatively unobtrusive and the cabin doesn't vibrate like crazy. This is something which ferries have often struggled with in the past. For passengers on the outside deck who crave the wind in their hair and want the best view out, noise and vibration amounts to something of a visceral experience for many travellers, but for the commuter who just wants to get from A to B in the most comfortable and efficient way possible, the smoothness from inside the ship is quite impressive. As with most ferries, you expect to see lines of seats facing the front, and you definitely have that here, but there's also a big surround couch style seat. It reminds me of the sort of couch you would find in the Big Brother house, where all the contestants sit once they've just moved in, except here it is on a ferry and with regular passengers, not future pseudo celebrities. TV culture commentary aside, the large couch is also supplemented by bright orange priority seating, located near entry and exit doors, and importantly, the seats themselves are actually pretty comfy, more than adequate for the 30 odd minute journey between Circular Quay and Manly. There are also some extra amenities available here, and in a recess under the stairs, there's a drinking water fountain, great to see offered on board. Panning round, there's also space for a wheelchair beside the priority seats. And of course, there's large windows with an opening top panel and a great view out. Speaking of a great view out, let's cue the music and head outside as the Sydney skyline comes into view and as we make our way into the harbour.
pulling alongside the wharf, it seems everyone's in a rush to jump off the vessel. So this gives me a nice opportunity to see a closer view of a couple of the other Emerald class ferries and put in my last two cents about them. I must say I was quite a fan and despite opinions in some press saying the contrary, I found the journey quite comfortable and smooth, so on the whole I was impressed. Thanks for joining me and I will see you again soon.